Good afternoon. This is Battalion Chief J.C. White of the NYC FDRP. I'm coming from you from Randall Island, the FDNY training facility. Currently, I'm the acting captain of Engine 30, which is located on 125th Street in the Upper East Side, quartered with 75 trucks. Today's quick training video is going to be covering the pieces of equipment the engine company utilizes during fire and emergency operations. Each member of every engine company should be familiar with these pieces of equipment and how to utilize and operate each piece of equipment. It's important to you as a member of the NYC FDRP to train, to study, and to follow your officer's leadership in a successful ground operation, whether it be at a fire ground or any other emergency operation in which you are taking part of. Every member will learn every other member's job. There will be no static, static positions where one day you may be the nozzleman and the next day you may be the backup man or the control man. The chauffeur typically selected by the officer of that company is typically the senior man. But that's not to say that during the course of operations and working a tour that you will not be selected by the officer to be the chauffeur. So it's important that you are able to operate any apparatus at any time. And it is also important for the success of this role playing department that you have that can do esprit de corps attitude. Willing to learn, willing to train, and also willing to take critiquing, as we all should be, from the chief down to the very newest probie hired onto this department. We should all be willing to listen, learn, and most importantly, have fun doing it. We are a serious role-playing department. We do have procedures that we need to all abide on. There is no one above the standard operating procedures and the handbook when it is available of every member of this department. We are only as a strong as the cooperation and the willingness to adapt and follow the SOPs in playing this role play game the simulator. In the next couple of weeks and as multiplayer seems to hopefully be creeping ever so closely, we need to train. And what other better place to train is with your engine company or your truck company or any company assigned and trained here at Randall Island. All members of this department are going to have the opportunity and will have the opportunity to train prior to going into Manhattan. You all, every member, for whatever reason, heard about this department and decided to submit an application. That application started, hopefully, a very enjoyable experience in role play. Some of the best role play experiences maybe thus far. But as a serious role play department, we must always remember, have fun, and follow the procedures. So, there's five members of each engine company that are assigned to the engine. You have your chauffeur, the driver of the apparatus. Primary function is driving the apparatus and placing the apparatus at the hydrant for the quick accessibility to a hydrant. With the guidance of the officer in, in, the, in the rig, you're either going to be doing two types of deployment of hose. You're either going to pass the fire ground leaving the direct front of the fire ground open for ladder uh, apparatuses and you're either going to 
digital pass and select the first available hydrant for a, a back stretch of hose and also or or you're going to stop short of the fire front and you are going to do a reverse stretch the key thing of the engine company is to provide water for the attack to knock down the fire so upon dismounting the driver the chauffeur is going his first primary responsibilities is going to be the connection of the supply to the hydrant the officer is going to be immediately assessing and directing his members in regards to uh, their functions and their jobs he's also going to be communicating any important information to the battalion and or division and additional first due and second due units Bronx arriving on the scene the nozzleman upon dismount should immediately equip himself with the nozzle which is located on the left side of the apparatus in the very first front number one compartment second primary function that he should perform in duty is to grab the first length of hose off the back of the apparatus the two and a half inch pull attack line we have two different lines on equipped on our engines one is the primary two and a half inch attack line and we have the three and a half inch relay line for relaying water due to a malfunctioning hydrant or or a possible long stretch to another uh, engine company that cannot get to a hydrant. The nozzleman will grab that two and a half inch line and he will start his stretch. Now, as he's pulling his stretch, six links are six links of each of these lines are on each of our engines on the back deck. To pull the amount required, you can pull too much or too little. With the assistance of the backup man and or the control man, if the control man is not assisting the chauffeur with the supply connections, the backup man or the control man shall assist in the stretch of counting the links needed to be able to deploy the water at the fire ground during fire operations. Once that is done, the nozzleman will nozzle up on his end, the backup man or control man will disconnect the link pull at the butts and connect to a discharge, a discharge opening on the apparatus, discharge valve. The wrench to the hydrant, which should be equipped either by the control man or the chauffeur, is located in the left rear compartment. As this is all being performed, the nozzle man pulling the stretch, the controller backup man assisting, within the first five minutes of going 1084 of a fire operation, a successful stretch should be performed, nozzles should be equipped, and the, the attack line should be already mounted on a discharge valve. The supply line should already be ready, connected, and either the chauffeur or the control man, preferably the control man with the wrench at the hydrant, the chauffeur at the panels, and that attack line is ready to be charged, and the attack crew is ready to go to work. On the rear step also of your engine companies you have the water can on the left side typically blocked by Old Glory. On the right rear compartment of the of the engine you have the CO2 can which can be equipped. The right rear roll-up door has EMT equipment non-functional at this time. The front roll-up door has the Halligan tool which if I am the officer I will be grabbing that tool. You also have another supply line 
on the right side just below two large discharge supply openings. That supply line is black in color and it can be equipped with a T. You also have on the right side just above the two discharge valves you have a hauser pipe, a static hauser that could be equipped and a two and a half inch attack line can be uh, connected to that hauser for static op water operations. Also too you have the deck gun which is on top. You mount the top of that your apparatus selecting F and use the arrow keys to direct your stream of water from the deck gun. The ladder can be brought down by a T. Pressing T. Nope. Not T. It used to be T. So right mouse button and then do grab the the portable ladder then T. Right mouse button to put the ladder the ladder back in its riding position. In the front of the apparatus you have a quick 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 attack line and you also have the yellow supply line. Right, not going to be working with the hoses because thus far this is take four yeah, and the hoses, down. specifically the uh, supply lines, are broken at this time. They will not connect uh, at this time for me. So I yeah, will no longer five, five. Uh, be attempting to connect the hoses, uh, five, five. supply hoses. Yeah, but to a cardiac arrest once room, once we have down. water, and all these duties are performed. The control man's job is to ensure that the hose is still flaked out and not kinking with communication uh, well, to the, the nozzleman. The nozzleman and the backup man and the officer shall be together and the officer shall assist the nozzleman on the entry into the fire ground and attack the fire. That is all for today. And I like to end with let's remember, train, 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 and let's let's get familiar. And if you see this video, please comment. I will be posting this not only in the uh, emergency discussion uh, channel on the Discord, but also the Proby channel, and also the officers channel. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm still learning and striving to learn. If you want to learn more about the FDNY's procedures with regards to fire ground operations, truck setup or engine setup, hose uh, nomenclature and hose uh, the responsibilities of the engine company, you can always uh, ask me. I posted a link uh, before. It's a, uh, a, a very well done uh, link that has all the PDF files files of fire procedures. Uh, this is going to be J.C. White, Battalion Chief, NYC, FDRP. Thank you.